What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, September 9th, day number 56 inside the Big Brother house. OMG, do we have a lot to go over? Just when we thought that storm season was done, Hurricane Angela makes landfall once again. Will it bring another veto meeting blindside? Let's talk about that, plus all the intel drama and more from yesterday's live feeds. But first, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. To give you guys a little bit of a recap, if you haven't been keeping up with everything going on this week, after MJ and Chelsea shocked us, as well as many in the house, by voting to keep Joseph after Chemo's speech, Chelsea won HOH and nominated Chemo and Angela. Most of that we saw on last night's episode, but not too much more to go over there. MJ then goes on to win the power of veto with no plans to use it, but it seemed like Chemo would be the target should Nam stay the same. Now, yesterday over the night, T uh, TKR was up late uh, as usual, right? Nothing too out of the norm there. But Leah and Quinn did join them staying up a little bit later as well. Really, it was just kind of like socializing. There wasn't really anything uh, game related going on. Uh, but it could have also been a little bit strategic to kind of keep TKR from game chatting like they do late at night. Uh, but it also could have just been because the backyard was open and they wanted a lot of fresh air. Angela, though, who didn't know that the backyard was open at first, snuck up on uh, the bathroom trying to eavesdrop on conversations, but eventually did notice they were all outside, went and checked on them and, and said good night. In the morning, though, Angela meets up with Chelsea and lets her know what she saw in the backyard. And not just that, that they have formed an alliance between TKR and Quinn and Leah plotting against everyone else in the house. Angela suggests that the two of them, plus Cam, MJ, and Leah, form an alliance moving forward. First off, Angela flipping on another person who has saved her and trusted her in this game, uh, but also weird that Angela would include Leah in a new alliance after she's ratting her out for being in an alliance. Now, Chelsea went right to Cam and kind of filled him in on everything that Angela said. And one thing they did say was Angela doesn't really lie. She may be wrong about things, but she doesn't lie. And if she's telling the truth, that means they don't have the votes to keep Angela this week. Chelsea also then goes to chat with MJ, kind of filled her in on everything going on. MJ said that Leanne Quinn did keep her up late giggling. Uh, that was actually, I think, more about Quinn asking Leah if she didn't kiss him because she didn't like him or because it was more strategic not to, which Angela said it was, or excuse me, Leah said it was the second one. Now, they thought about using the veto on chemo and how he would be grateful and be on their side. Eventually, they said, F it, use it on Angela. <laughs> this, it, this is just the beginning here, folks. While that was going on, Angela was chatting with Leah about what she saw in the backyard, how she thinks they're trying to form something to get her out this week, that, you know, Leah should not be working with them, but should work with uh, herself, Cam, MJ, and Chelsea. Uh, she says, you know, uh, if the veto isn't used on me, I'm going to be voted out of this house. Uh, and An Angela tells Leah, don't get dragged into something by Quinn, which Leah says, never. I'm a, I'm a lone rider in this game. Uh, Leah tells her, like, I still love you, Angela. And Angela says, I know, but this is a game. And it doesn't seem that that conversation eased Angela's paranoia at all. Eventually, MJ ended up chatting with Angela, who uh, told her all kind of the same things that uh, she was telling Chelsea earlier about TKR having this uh, alliance with Quinn and Leah, about having the one to form uh, an alliance with uh, Chelsea, Cam, Leah, MJ, and uh, Angela, and doing all this stuff. Uh, she says that, you know, she loves Leah, but is very aware of Quinn and herself and the relationship that they have going on. MJ tells <laughs> Angela, and this is kind of a, a crazy thing to say, especially to Angela, uh, that if uh, MJ would have won HOH, she would have put Angela up, but that doesn't mean you are the target 
if you up or are, uh, are up on the block and that she would want to keep Angela here uh, and that she might be still on the block and she might have to keep her here in a way that doesn't involve the veto. Uh, but she also does say like TKR are not a threat right now and that she knows more than people uh, think that she does. MJ ended up chatting with the T and the R of TKR, and they both pushed for the K to stay. Uh, but MJ basically was just saying she's taking everything into account uh, and she's trying to consider all the, the info and facts and she still needs to talk to Angela. So she didn't really confirm or deny uh, or push for uh, any of her plans at the moment. Chelsea ended up uh, asking Cam like what he thought if Kima was the one to come down and Quinn to go up. Cam kind of says like Leah is kind of the bigger issue. Uh, and Chelsea kind of says like Quinn's tougher and comp wise, right? Later, Cam actually says like, you know what? I'm cool with it. If Quinn goes, uh, it'll end up being TKR versus Cam, Chelsea and MJ. Uh, and then Leah and Angela are there, but they're not going to win anything anyway. After this, Chelsea tells MJ, hey, listen, no matter what, we do this. Uh, she said Cam wants Leah up, but either way, they can break up Quinn and Leah. Uh, MJ doesn't necessarily trust that Cam would vote out Leah, so it probably would be safer to do Quinn, uh, they're thinking. Now, Chelsea eventually goes and has a conversation with Tikor and Rabina about what happened uh, in the backyard last night and everything that Angela said. Uh, to which they deny, of course, but they're quite happy to hear that Quinn and Leah could potentially be going up and that uh, with the two of them, they would have to be split this week. So they seemed uh, pretty eager uh, to hear that news. Chelsea, though, eventually confronts Leah, uh, who, of course, also says it wasn't true. Uh, and Chelsea did say, you know what, it was weird that Leah was being included in this new alliance, uh, especially when uh, Angela was just ratting out Leah for being in an alliance, and, and that didn't really add up. Uh, and uh, Chelsea then says, like, hey, let's get Cam, MJ, and Quinn and kind of meet up and talk about this because they're now the majority. They also say, like, ah, maybe it might be better to do one-on-ones uh, and, and kind of safer than doing it as a group. But they say, in general, they have to talk about this. And if MJ does want to use it, they have to kind of figure out who the renom would be. MJ told Quinn she doesn't plan on using it right now uh, in only if new info were to come up and that she thinks that, you know, they're running the house. Dr. MJ Kirby in the office for this one. Uh, he eventually leaves and MJ says, like, he doesn't even he doesn't even know that he's an option uh, she feels kind of bad, though, and doesn't know what to do uh, in this situation. MJ and Leah have a chat, and Leah actually is surprised to hear that Quinn was leading the charge to get chemo out this week, and she kind of thought that he wanted Angela out this week. Now, this was weird for MJ because she's kind of confused why Leah wouldn't know about this. And this ends up being uh, kind of a, an interesting conversation that comes up a little bit later as well. Uh, MJ then goes and has a chat with Cam and uh, she tells Cam, like, I don't want to use it on Angela, but I would probably use it on chemo, which Cam says, don't do that. Right. You use it on chemo and then it's Quinn and Angela. There's a chance that they just keep uh, Quinn and they don't vote out Angela. So you can't really do it that way. She says, if uh, you use it on Angela, Quinn will go up and he'll go home. Uh, and then they don't have to worry about, you know, Leah and Angela after that. And it'll just be them versus TKR. Now, Chelsea told t -Core that she doesn't think that MJ will use it, especially on Angela. But it is really important that they break up Quinn and Leah. Chelsea, Cam and MJ ended up having a conversation about the whole situation MJ tells them about the Leah convo and how she doesn't understand how she wouldn't know that Quinn wanted out chemo and maybe they're all just playing them. But Chelsea says that TKR doesn't trust Quinn and Leah either uh, and how Leah throws Quinn under the bus and all this doesn't really make a lot of sense. Cam says, you know, next week, if one of TKR wins, Quinn uh, wouldn't hesitate uh, to throw one of them under the bus uh, so that they would end up going up. But also, he wouldn't, you know, put them up. So why wouldn't you just keep him and get rid of one of TKR? I, 
it's a thing. Uh, Cam and Chelsea, uh, they want MJ to save Angela so that they can put up Quinn. Quinn doesn't, uh, MJ doesn't want to save Angela though, but they do wonder if it's better just to kind of wait uh, until next week because Quinn, you know, would put up TKR and Angela before them. It, it was really going back and forth all day, especially even in this conversation. And trust me, we're not done yet. Cam just says, you know what? F it. Let's just do it this week. <laughs> MJ and Chelsea do feel bad, though, and they can get over it because, you know what? Quinn is smart. He would do the same to them. He would also know that he wouldn't beat them, so he would take that shot. MJ lets Chelsea know that Leah is creating a narrative, though, that MJ and Cam like each other and that Chelsea feels uncomfortable out about this. Now, Chelsea kind of denies it, but this is true, right? We've talked about how Chelsea feels very jealous about how MJ's always kind of petting uh, Cam's head, how she's jealous about Cam and Leah's relationship, and this just all seemed like maybe it was giving more uh, ammunition to put Leah up on the block for Chelsea. Because uh, again, here's the big thing. These are all such emotional players. All of this stuff is changing their mind moment to moment. Now, they talk about how uh, Chelsea said the only thing she ever said about that whole situation was the t uh, and she was really kind of more worried about making uh, it, it appear that, you know, they're working together, and it wasn't really anything uh, more than that, which we all know isn't true. Now, there was a bit of a group s'mores activity that took place. Everybody was uh, making some food and snacks. But after that little treat, more veto talks, talk, uh, talks took place with MJ and Chelsea talking it through, going back and forth once again on should they do this or not. Uh, they said that Quinn would take that shot and he wouldn't be bitter in jury. Leah might just fall in line with them as well. Uh, they talk about how they wouldn't even be thinking uh, this if Angela didn't tell them it in the first place. So maybe they shouldn't do it. They then talk about how, like, they'll confront Leah and Quinn about how uh, all this went down. They'll see what happens. It would probably be good to get them both in the room at the same time so they can't kind of get their story straight and, and just see, see what comes of that, and they would do that in the morning. They also say, like, don't tell anyone other than Leah and Quinn that you're using it yet. Just tell them so then we can kind of get that, that info. But then <laughs> Chelsea goes and tells Kimo. What did we just talk about, Chelsea? <laughs> we just talked about not telling anybody other than Lee and Quinn. She tells Chemo, MJ's using it on Angela. She's putting Quinn up as the replacement nominee. Uh, he, uh, she also tells him, like, hey, don't tell anybody. But of course, he went and told t who also then went and filled Rabina in as well. Now, while that all took place, back up in the HOH room, Leah who might just be getting weird feelings that were going on. Maybe she just has enough game sense to know that, hey, probably best not to leave all this Angela stuff hanging around. So she goes to hang out with MJ and Chelsea to kind of talk things out. Uh, and uh, she says, listen, Quinn has been sticking to the five who voted out Tucker. And like that has been his thing that he's been talking about for for the longest time how it's wild that Angela is uh, throwing all this stuff out about Leah and that she should have listened uh, to Quinn. He was right that Angela would just end up turning on him. And she's still, you know, hesitant with a lot of info about Quinn. They kind of ask about, you know, what Quinn knows and who we would vote for. And Leah is always just kind of pausing, saying like, oh, I don't really know. Uh, and all this is probably doing is making Chelsea and MJ a little bit even more sus. They start talking about how Quinn might be working with Rubina, and Leah was actually kind of the one who brought this up, and it, she desperately starts trying to make sure that MJ and Chelsea don't go after him and that TKR uh, next week become a majority and that there's someone that, you know, you, you really can't trust and you have to worry about. They should be the focus. Uh, and she just kind of keeps going on and on, just kind of as Leah does. Uh, but uh, Chelsea, she kind of says like, hey, 
if there's, you know, some stuff going on, right? Like, we got to figure this out. Everybody's kind of lying. We need to kind of get this straight. Leah then brings up that Rubina and Quinn were kind of talking about working together. And all this stuff ends up making them think, you know what? Maybe Angela's right. If if Quinn is working with Leah and he doesn't actually know about the stuff that Angela was saying, that you know what? Maybe they are actually working together. Leah, like as I'm watching, I think she kind of realized like, oh, I, I just messed up. I shouldn't have been saying this. And as, I, as I'm thinking this, as I'm watching, she goes, I think I messed up. I told Chemo and t what Angela said. <laughs> She's trying to cover desperately, uh, really, really trying to make sure that they get off of the, the Quinn idea, but they keep coming back to like, you know what? Like someone's lying. He might end up be working with them. She's telling them that he won't put them up. They end, it really kind of ends with them saying to sleep on it. I, I, I can't even say there's really a definitive answer because I'm telling you guys, as I'm recording this, they're still up. They're still trying. Lee is desperately trying to make sure this doesn't happen today. Uh, but we're going to have to see how this all plays out. As much as I'm all for the veto being used for the eighth time in a row now, kind of hate this for Chelsea and really everyone's game but TKR they become the victor here if Quinn is to leave this week in my opinion the best move would be to get chemo out so that you break up that trio if Quinn were to go out going into the next HOH TKR then have a three and seven shot at winning HOH uh, and if Quinn were to stay they would only have two vote going into that HOH you would have uh, a duo that you're breaking up if you send out Quinn but if you send out chemo you're breaking up a trio I don't know to me a lot of it doesn't really make sense I'm going to call it there though we'll have to see what goes down it could be another wild chaotic veto meeting today Ooh, you got to love this season. This season never stops giving us the moment we feel like, ah, you know what? It's slowing down. It's about to get boring. Things just stir up once again. What do you guys think of everything going down right now? Should MJ use the power of veto? And if she does, should she use it on chemo or should she use it on Angela? And then who should the replacement nominee be? Should it be Quinn? Should it be Leah? Should it be Rubina? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you guys all again so much for watching. Uh, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Check out all the links in the description. Pin comment down below to all of my socials. Uh, Twitter and Discord, great place to keep up with uh, when videos are posted. If the YouTube notifications aren't working properly. Also, Discord's a great community that we're building over there with people always chatting about what's going on on the live feeds, plus sports, all other different reality shows as well. Uh, check out uh, Kick and Twitch as well. We're going to be starting to stream up over there uh, fairly soon as well. Once again, though, thank you guys so much for watching. We are on our way to 15K subscribers, and I cannot thank you guys enough for joining me each and every morning. Whew. I'm excited to see what goes down today. Get your popcorn ready because this season just keeps on giving. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you next time. I mean, I, I, mean, I could just be, you know, make it, this could happen regularly. I think we get...